If you are looking for an automation platform, then you may just be in the right place today. We're going to have a look at Hugging. We're also going to have a look at N8N. We're going to figure out what features they actually offer and why they stand out. So let's do it. All right, so jumping into Hugging now. It is a powerful agent-based automation platform that monitors and takes action on web events without actually requiring coding expertise. By chaining customizable agents together, you can create complex automation sequences that extract data, respond to triggers, and execute tasks on schedule. This agent-based architecture creates and connects specialized agents that each perform specific functions and then chain them together for sophisticated workflows. You can scrape and transform web data without writing code, making information gathering automated and highly accessible. It also has developed new agent types to expand functionality and tackle unique automation challenges, which is beyond the built-in capabilities. It also has fantastic integration ecosystem so it excels at connecting your digital world through extensive integration capabilities its flexible architecture allows you to build personalized workflows that communicate with virtually any service that offers an api it is an it has a native integration with twitter rss imap slack jira mqttf TP and bash commands for a comprehensive connectivity and it also has two-way webhooks so you can actually send and receive http requests to connect to iot devices external scripts and notification systems with bi-directional communication it also has an intuitive interface for managing agents credentials and system diagnostics without command line interactions some of the real world applications over here, you're probably wondering now, how do I use it in my life? So it actually transforms how you interact with online services and data, enabling automation across multiple domains. So it offers personalized alerts, which means you can create custom notifications for weather conditions, price drops on tracked products or available flight deals that might match your criteria. Also, for content monitoring, it automatically tracks website changes, forum replies, or new posts on your favorite platforms without constant manual checking. You also, um, if you are doing social media automation, it tracks keywords or hashtags across platforms and then automatically responds, archives, or creates trigger follow-up actions based on specific conditions. It also extracts stock market data or other structured information, uh, combines multiple sources and trigger actions based on very complex conditions. Let's have a look at N8N now. So N8N is actually open source and I love open source software. It means that you can customize it more extensively to meet your more unique business demands. Also, um, host N8N you can do so on your own server. Again, being open source, it offers more control over your data privacy and, of course, your security. Um, there's also dynamic data operations. Um, you can perform complex data manipulations within your workflows, making it ideal for more advanced, more technical users. And if you are a self-host, N8N is actually entirely free to use, which is highly cost-effective for startups or anybody on a tight budget or basically anybody free stuff is awesome you can also create unique triggers for advanced workflow automations using their built-in webhook functionality and uh, as an open source tool n8n benefits from a growing global developer community contributing features and plugins one or two of their drawbacks though unlike some of their competitors uh, it does demand some coding knowledge or some more technical understanding to unlock its full potential so if that is not something that you've got it is going to be a problem also um it's a bit of a steep learning curve um the lack of pre-built templates some um, as like some of their competitors and um their guides it can make it a bit frustrating for anybody that's kind of less experienced within that sort of software all right, now, ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, make sure that you're using these products and testing them with your own circumstances, your own scenarios, and figuring out which one works best. If this was helpful, drop us a like. We'll see you next time.